The following is an NTV Newfoundland and Labrador news checkpoint. Good evening, everyone. A disturbing story to tell you about from the Buren Peninsula. This morning at 9.30, RCMP arrested a school bus driver from the Marystown area and charged him with impaired driving. Police say there were no children on the bus at the time. The driver had already finished his morning route. The 66-year-old driver has been released from custody and will appear in court in Grand Bank on May the 9th. The investigation is continuing. Well, the massive recall announced this past week of pet food is causing concerns in this province. One man whose cat died is wondering if the death was connected to the tainted food. About $40 million worth of pet food across North America has been recalled in this province. A local veterinarian, Dr. Jens Martin, has been examining some animals brought in by pet owners. He says if your pet is showing signs of uh, being lethargic or any other symptoms that may be related to the menu, stop feeding the pet that kind of food immediately and bring your pet to a vet for examination and some blood work. Well, a bitter pill to uh, swallow for Mayor Andy Wells. Former St. John's City Councilor Paul Sears won't have to compensate Mayor Wells for remarks made at a council meeting after all. The Court of Appeal has ruled that then-Councilor Sears and his statements made during a debate over the Loblaws supermarket at Memorial Stadium met the test of qualified privilege and were not defamatory. Originally, Mr. Sears was ordered to pay Mayor Wells $40,000. Mayor Wells appealed, saying it was too low. The Court of Appeal did not agree. Mr. Sears does not have to pay any compensation, and in fact, Mayor Wells now has to cover Paul Sears' court costs. That is our checkpoint. Have a nice evening, everyone.